They are a bunch of yoloing juvenile degenerates who wear big losses as a badge of honor. And they just broke Wall Street. What's up, my Milk Money Millionaires? I'm Joshua with Milk Money, where we believe you don't have to be rich to get rich. And the best little guy getting rich story is this story about Wall Street bets sticking it to Wall Street. And if you'd like to keep up with how this story unfolds, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. But anyway, let's get into it. I've been following Wall Street bets for a year now and have noticed two things about the community. They act like a bunch of rowdy frat boys in the casino which ultimately makes everyone mock them and write them off. But secondly, they're usually actually pretty right in picking hot stocks, from Tesla to Neo to Palantir and now GameStop. When I saw them hype Palantir back in the fall, I did some research and realized I loved it too, and now it's one of my favorite stocks for 2021. Thanks, Wall Street Bets. So when I saw them talking about causing a short squeeze in GME, I thought it would be smart to keep an eye on it. Maybe the hype will give me a quick profit. And it did. Thanks again. Wall Street bets. Could a bunch of small Robin Hooders really cause a massive short squeeze all by themselves? Well, the only people that thought they could was Wall Street bets. And guess what? They just did. So first off, to understand what is going on, you need to know what a short squeeze is. So essentially, it comes from short sellers panicking and sending the stock price up, kind of like the opposite of when longs panic and sell a price down. So you need to know what a short sale is. So basically a short seller borrows your stock and promises it to give it back. But in the meantime, they sell it to somebody else, hoping that when they have to buy it back to give it to you, it'll be at a much lower price. So if the price goes down and they get to buy back at a cheaper price, they make money. If the price goes up and they have to buy it at a more expensive price before they give it back to you, they lose money. So if the price starts to go up, many shorts will start to cut their losses, buy the stock back now, so just in case it goes up more later, then that could cause the stock price to go up a little bit more. And if there's a lot of shorts in that stock, then there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna get nervous as the price goes up. So the first guy starts short covering, then the second guy goes, oh crap, the price is going up, maybe other people are short covering, I better cover my butt first before everybody else does, and now the price goes up even more, and then the third guy, same thing, and then all of a sudden, the pricing starts to get out of control, and all the short sellers start to panic and fight each other over who gets to buy the stock first making the stock price skyrocket so how did wall street bets make this happen it all started two years ago when user delaney d posted about it being a deep value play meaning that even if it was a struggling company its stock was worth more kind of like the old warren buffett left last puff of a cigarette butt kind of play but it still took until recently to really get any traction the first fuel to the fire was when michael burry took a large position in gme and even recommended GameStop to start buying back their shares but still most users weren't on board. Quote, GameStop is going under, no doubt about it. Quote from another Reddit user, GameStop is a zombie company. They're the next Sears. Whatever you're smoking, I'll take two. So the seeds were planted, but nobody was really growing or watering them quite just yet. And then in 2019, the legend of deep effing value was born as he bought $53,000 in long dated GME calls, set to expire in January of 2021. But at that time, he was mocked. After sharing his YOLO play, and everybody was criticizing for it, saying he was an idiot for buying a dying company. And for one example, as everybody was telling him he was going to lose all his money, he responded, how can I lose it all in one week if the calls don't expire for 16 months? And then this user posted, oh right, I forgot shit companies that are barely clinging to life always come roaring back from terrible earnings. Remind me, 15 months and 20 days from now to confirm that this idiot lost it all. Who's the idiot now? All right, so we'll have an update on deep effing value later. All right, so then now we're about nine months ago, the short squeeze idea started circulating. For example, user Senior Hedgehog noted that they had an 84% short interest, which is pretty darn high. That's a lot of people who are gonna be in a lot of trouble if the stock starts going up. We might just have us a good short squeeze target. But there's a few missing pieces to the Wall Street Bets meme stock status formula, but don't worry, they're coming. The best Wall Street Bets meme stocks have a hero and a foil. Elon has been like Christ to them, for example, in 2020. In 2020, billionaire investor Ryan Cohen's RC Ventures LLC laid out roughly 53 million bucks to buy 9 million shares at just under $6. Now Wall Street Bets had a GME hero to rally behind as his investment laid a base for the squeeze and dreams of him reviving GameStop into an e-retail success story like he did Chewy would be fuel to the speculation that the price could rise. All hail Elon and now all hail Cohen. 
In September, things started getting real as Player896 posted about the short float getting way out of whack. With a short interest of 120%, which is absolutely insane, and 67% of those shorts were underwater. The shorts were in deep crap, we're getting close. The last missing piece of the puzzle for epic meme stock status is a foil. Someone for the community to rally against. When user Ronaran uncovered Melvin Capital Management held 5.4 million shares short, Wall Street Bets had the last piece of the puzzle they needed, a worthy adversary to unite them. Now the crowd had a reason to go to war, to live true to the Robin Hood app and take Melvin Capital's attendees. An update on that mocked user, deep effing value, on December 22nd, he posted that he was up to $3.4 million. And my favorite response to that posting was when he was asked seriously, what is your ex exit strategy here? He responded, what's an exit strategy? Diamond handed legend. In January, the pump was on as GME hit 40 bucks on January 19th. Citron Research decided to become em enemy number two as he called for shorting the stock as it would be back to 15 bucks soon. You messed with the wrong degenerates, Mr. Left. They are still mad about you crashing the penalty party back in November. Wall Street Bets is now all in with the whole group encouraging each other to keep buying shares and calls of GME to run a gamma squeeze and to keep pumping that stock and hold their shares to prevent the big guys from dumping. And now it's said that Melvin Capital is said to have lost $2 billion in their short share position with Citadel Capital needing to step in and give them a huge bailout to save their butt. And an update on that deep effing value as of yesterday, his account was at almost $14 million. They have done it. They have lived up to the Robin Hood moniker of their favorite trading app. Two million degenerates united to rob the rich and give it to their own poor selves. They had the mission of getting back at these big hedge fund guys who manipulate the market and get rich while the little guy is left behind. They were ignored, but they've won and they've been ignored no more. Wall Street Bets has got everyone's attention now, from Kramer and CNBC to even Chamath Palapahatia. On Chamath's Twitter yesterday, he posted, this is some epic baller shit. Wall Street Bets just ran over one of the most successful hedge funds around. So even the crowd and the army of investors all across the world are cheering them on. And today, Chamath even joined in on the yellow party. And the story isn't over. Where will it go from here? Will they cause the squeeze to rocket GME to the moon? Maybe to $200? Does it crash tomorrow? Do they bankrupt Wall Street? Does Wall Street and the SEC fight back? All I know is Wall Street Bets is ready for war, and we've got the popcorn. So stay tuned to find out how it all ends. If you want to make sure you see all my updates on how this story unfolds, make sure you like and subscribe. Again, I'm Joshua. Thanks so much for watching Milk Money, where we believe you don't have to be rich to get rich. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.